Hello, folks out there in uh, TV land. I'm <clears throat> Apostle Tidwell. And today, I'm uh, doing a little message coming to you live from my uh, office slash recording studio in Hammond, Indiana. And uh, I'm calling, I'm coming on here live for you with this message, what happens to Christians at the time of death? And I got some accounts from the Bible about what happened to some Christians at the time of death. Death is a strange thing. People, some people are afraid of it. Some people embrace it. Some people don't care if it happens or not. But at the time of death, something happens, you change. Your, your soul leaves your physical body. And you go into the beyond. And uh, we have counts of people who did that and came back like Jesus Christ. He, 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 he was crucified. He died. His soul left his body. And he went into the beyond. And he came back to... Uh, Tell his followers, because he said in three days I'll raise his body up. He, he proclaimed that he's going to raise his body up in three days, and he did it. Went back with his followers, spent 40 days with them after death. So we know death is temporary. And over in Revelations 20 and uh, 14, it talks about how death and uh, how, how, how uh, death and hell will deliver up the dead which in them death delivering up the dead so I mean death is temporary it's not a permanent thing according to the Bible that's Revelation 2014 you can go back and read that where it talks about how death will deliver up the dead that was, that's in them death is a spirit we know and the spirit overtakes your body at a certain time and call a temporary sleep to come upon you as your body decays. Okay. So first of all, I'm looking at Daniel. And Daniel, Daniel definitely had an interesting experience. Daniel had some bones and, and, and God asked Daniel, can these bones live? And bone, all Daniel saw was scattered bones, all mixed in, different people. And God put sinews on the bones. And God put skin on the bones and brought life to the bones. Dry bones, dry bones. God, God can do anything. Death is only temporary. Uh, Adam, Adam came from dust. That's, that's another instance in the Bible. Adam. Born from dust. And uh, God told him if he sinned, he would see death. And now Adam never had an a experience with death in his defense. And he never, but he knew it must have been a bad thing because God said it was going to happen. And it probably made him feel strange. Okay, Lazarus in the Bible, he was dead. Death is only temporary. And uh, Lazarus in the Bible, he was dead. And Jesus Christ brought him back after three days. Something about three days. Lazarus, Lazarus came back after three days of being dead. This is another instance of uh, and they fed him, according to the Bible. And he, he ate something. Uh, Lazarus in the Bible. Uh, where do saints go when they die? Elijah. An instance of where saints go when they die, Elijah skipped death. The prophet Elijah. And he he uh, he was taken up in a whirlwind, in a, in a chariot of fire. Didn't have to die. He was taken up in a chariot. Some people was definitely wish that. There are people who are afraid to be placed in a box and placed in the ground. 
are afraid to uh, with love to skip death and be taken up in a chariot of fire. Some people, some people wouldn't like that. Some folk want to be placed in the box and placed in the ground. What happens to saints at the time of death? Death is only temporary. Now we uh, uh, see where uh, uh, my situation. We'll come into my situation now. I I experienced an out of body experience. I had an out of body experience while I was down at college. And uh, and I, I was t- I was in a room with angels. The angels were all white and they were all blind. I, there, there might be some black angels. I don't know. There might be some black angels or some brunette angels, but all the ones I saw were blind. And I was taken into this room where they questioned me, and all I remember was the last question. So all I didn't even remember was the last question. And that was, what you going to do with the rest of your life? And I told them, I said, I'm going to be an activist like Malcolm X. And they said, fine. Now, immediately, I was back at my body. Now, I looked at my body laying on the bed. And the first thing I said was, I need to get back in my body. So I laid it, to, with, my, with my spirit, I laid it in the front of the bed. I tried to fall back, but it was a force field that kept me from getting in my body, a force field. I guess that happens at the time of death. You can't get back in your body. The force field that was keeping me, and I was spin out of control. Every time I tried to go back to my body, now I don't know if my heart stopped beating or not. But I know that I was out of body. And then I tried again. And then finally I went back into my body. Went back into my body. And uh, I couldn't move because my hands are like logs. I couldn't move. So I said, Jesus. I began to call on Jesus. And I could move my hands. I began to call on Jesus. And I got up. And I went to go get me a drink of water. Wash my face. And... uh, Get on with my day, with my night anyway. It was at night when this happened. I had my eye about the experience. But uh, many a times, we find ourselves in these situations. Uh, I was I went to an in between place when it was time for me to do that. But uh, what happens to saints at the time of death? From my experience, I know that we are taken to a place. And uh, if it's not your time, they'll send you back. If it is your time, I guess you'll be taken on into the heavenlies. And uh, we we have a situation where Lazarus uh, and the rich man, you hear about that. Well, Lazarus was taken up into the bosom of Abraham. So we know Abraham is up there with, with God. The ladders was in his bosom. And uh, you don't have to be perfect to go to heaven. You know, Abraham wasn't perfect. And uh, the rich man, he went to hell because he didn't take care of a beggar. It's our responsibility to take care of each other. Okay, that was the point that Jesus Christ is making. I'm done with my talk. And right now, we're going to do a little family business right now with the Tipwell Ministry website. We've done a whole new overhaul of Tipwell Ministry website. There's new pictures up there. There's a lot of stuff going on with the website. We got the link to this show here on the uh, website. If you, if you want to go to the website, it's www.tipwellministries.net. www.tipwellministries.net. You can go there, you can buy my music, the song that I'm about to play, you can, you can buy that there. Uh, you can do a lot of things at the website. So uh, go to the website and uh, do those things. 
Okay, and uh, right now, with no further ado, I'm going to play my song, No More Hesitation. And my, my a friend of mine from, from grammar school did the, 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 the behind, did the background vocal on this. And she, uh, she's definitely a good girl. She, she's a sponsor on the website as well, Kim Flavor Candles. And she makes those scented candles that smell so good. And what you can do is, is, uh, check this out. Here it is. No more hesitation. No more hesitation. I hope you appreciate that song and I hope you liked it. It'll be going to be available for sale on uh, the Tidwell Ministries website, www.tidwellministries.net. And you can donate to this ministry on the website or you can cash at me at Tidwell Ministries 5 to donate to this ministry. And I appreciate all of the donations. God's going to bless you tenfold. 24 with a hundredfold if you donate to this ministry. God loves this ministry. And I love this ministry. And I've been at it since 1998, preaching in the streets of Chicago I started. Going through the projects and telling those guys out there 
the day the devil's flunky and I passed out the flyer, devil's flunky. And I did all these things. And, and now we on television and we were uh, talking about uh, various things on television. And we're promoting the website. Go to the website. A lot, of, a lot of content on the website. Lots of content. And you go down to the footer and you can flip through the pages. I got stuff for 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 artists. I sell beats on there for people who want to uh, sing and things. And, and if you want a, a, a particular beat, you can pick it out. And you can buy it right there on the website. Download it, and, and it's only ten dollars for the beat. And if you like a beat that you hear, you can download it right there on the website. So a lot of a lot of content about Jesus Christ, the Jesus Christ movement. That I started in 1998, Jesus Christ movement. We can uh, definitely appreciate that. Uh, okay, and uh, what do we have? We have the song "No More Hesitation." It'll be like I said before. It'll be available for sale on the website by Monday. I want to put it on there tonight. We, we might we might wait till Monday to have it done. I uh, sent it off to a few publishers as well. That way I get more exposure. I get some exposure here on this broadcast. We get more exposure. So more, no more hesitations. A spinoff of no more fornication. And uh, I just recently revamped the song and remastered it. As we've uh, built on the recording studio, to come to this, to come to the point where we can remaster. Okay, we're gonna play this song one more time. One, no more hesitation, and then we're gonna end this broadcast.
that you do. It's all going to back on you. And one day, enjoyed the show. Tick Up Ministries is sponsored by Kim's Flavor Candles. You can go to the website and as a link to her website, Kim Kim, and uh, who I call Cute Kim, is a link to her website on the website on my website. And you can go in there and order your candles, and uh, you spend about ten bucks on the average candle, less than that probably. And if, you know, for a block of candles, ten dollars. That one is. Depends on what you want to do. You want to smell good because your scented oil smells good as well. And uh, you like Kim flavored candles on the website. And uh, we also have the empty tomb. Go on there and read some stuff from the empty tomb. Talking about Jesus. His tomb is empty. That's all we know. His tomb is empty. He's nowhere on earth. His body is gone. A man who was dead, his body is gone. What happens to saints at the time of death? This is Apostle M.D. Titwell. Wish you all good, God, sweet, pleasant dreams. Good night, good night. And stay on the wall. <laughs>